David Toller here with Supplemental Sound. I'm going to show you today how to take the Behringer X32 mixer console and to be able to route your live stream on a separate bus or a mix that's separate from the in-house sanctuary front of house mix as we call it. So I already have one set up for you that I've done for the sake of time and I'm going to walk you through it. The first thing you want to do is find a pair because we're going to make this a stereo channel, a left and a right. You want to choose a empty bus, two channels beside each other because this is your outputs. Is you want to go, and in this case, I found three and four. Now you have to choose an, an odd number to be able to pair so you can't pair two and three. I believe this is the way it works. You have to choose one. So what I've one or three or five and six, you know, to pair those. So if you have a problem with that, best thing to do is choose a odd number. So we go up to select the channel and then we're to go to up here to home on the screen, go to config. All right. Well, actually you can do it from right here. So let's do that. I'm going to unlink these for a second because we want a stereo mix. We want two channels, a left and a right. So we're gonna go to link, is right here on the home page. What I've done is I selected home page, and then it says link. It's gonna ask you, do you want to link three and four? We confirm that by hitting the right button, and we have that linked. So these two channels are linked now because they move together. One is left, as you see, I went in and named it, live stream left and R for live stream right. Another way to test it would be, as I choose this, you can see it's panned hard left. And if I choose four, it's panned hard right. Be sure, as I'm talking about this, that stereo bus and mono is deselected because we do not want this to go to the front of house. If you have that selected, it's gonna come out your main out as well, your left and right. It's going to come through your speakers. You don't want that. So deselect both of those. We just want this going to the live stream because our whole goal is to build a separate mix going to the live stream so we can control the volume there separately and can make our own mix. That's the whole point of this because I did have it connected to the, the main. And the problem with that is, you know, people in the live stream say, bring it up. I bring it up in house in the sanctuary and it's too loud or vice versa. We want its own separate channel. And then we're gonna boost that, st stick to the end, because we're gonna boost that signal, by the way. All right, so we have them paired together. Let's do the routing. What we wanna do first of all, if you go to routing, we want it to come out the expansion card, USB, the audio interface built in that comes with the Behringer X32. Go to our computer, which is over there, USB to OBS. All right, so we're gonna route this out using a singular USB printer cable, if you will. So let's go to routing. And you have on this page input. So we have locals that are set in there. We have a local analog snake that is used. So if you have a digital snake, then you want to choose that accordingly with the AES 50 or the second one. If you have two of them, more power to you. But we're just using the analog snake physical inputs. The rest of these have to do with outputs. So see that's your AES, the B. There's our card, but we're gonna scroll all the way over and then you can see as far as our outputs. All right, now go over to, we probably wanna stop here. And you see on number three, make sure you have this set. Go down and choose your channels. Like I'm gonna go up to three that says live stream left. And what we want that to be is, it says mix bus, that's good. And then three, and then come down and make sure you have pre-fader. Now I'm still fooling around with this. You might let me know in the comments. This may need to be post-fader, but from what I've seen, I'm gonna try pre-fader right now. The next thing we're gonna do is go to the next channel, which I can scroll down here to four, you can see it's live stream right, mix, make sure mix bus, and then we want that mix bus four, 
and then we have pre-fader selected. Next, we're gonna go over all the way over to user. Now this is where we're gonna get this routed out. All right, we're gonna go, if this, at the bottom, we want outputs. So you want to choose, press it down one time, you'll be on outputs. Of course, you press again, you're on inputs, but then we're gonna go over to this channel where it says user output. We're gonna go down to outputs, and then we're gonna go down to output three. And the reason I'm choosing that, because it's on bus three. All right, now I could physically connect a camera using XLR to come physically out of the board, but we're gonna route that via USB here in just a minute. So we have output, and then we're gonna go down to three, and then we're gonna assign it. So you can see that change to output three. We're gonna move down and we're gonna make this output. You see I'm choosing output and output number 10, like that, assign. Well, actually on this one, I did set up two. So let me go, it's supposed to be four for this example, four. All right, so we have three and four connected. We see that, he that here, user output. Now we want to scroll over to card. So there's the card. So now we see we want to make sure that we come down and we choose user out one through eight because that's what we routed. And then I have, you can see the settings here. You could copy those. Or if you have a, you know, a different one, you'd have to, a digital snake, do something different there. But when you see the the two we just set up coming out, which is gonna be pre-fader, mix bus three and four, which is our stereo pair here that is separate from the house mix. All right, so what we're gonna do now is build our mix, our live stream. You're gonna choose the channel. Right now, we're, this is the main mix. When I hit this send zone fader button, watch what happens. Now we can build our live stream mix. So we would go over here, I'm gonna go back to our main channel. We would say, okay, here's the pulpit. I got that set at Unity. Here's the yellow mic. You know, brought our choir up, if you want that in there. Uh, preacher's lapel and piano, green mic, red mic. I'm gonna get these closer together one day. And then we go down, we got our ambient congregational mics. So, those are another story in themselves, but we have those, um, you know, build the mix for online. Okay, of course, if I deselect this, you'll notice they go back down because we do not want them coming through the main mix because we're gonna deal with feedback issues. You can see one's hanging there, one's there, and then there's one up front, two up front, and then one in the wing and one on the side for ambient congregational mics. For an example, I'm gonna go down to our auxiliary, which is our CD player right and left. I'm gonna play a CD and let's see if we're getting, let's test this to make sure it's working. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna play a CD. And the, the story is I do not want, right now I'm looking at my main mix. Is that I turn send on fader, so if I was to unmute, the mains and unmute my ceiling speakers and monitors, then you are getting the front of house mix. All right, so that's a store in itself. So let's mute those, the ceiling speakers and the monitors. Now let's go to our mix which is our live stream. You can see we're getting a good signal here, a good strong signal. One of the things I would encourage you is make sure you have proper gain structure. If not, you're not gonna be able to pull enough volume over here. I've had a lot of problem with that. In fact, I've learned more. I'm gonna have to start at the top, work on every channel and get them gained up. Cause on the Behringer, you want it touching, that's negative 18. That's a good gain structure for this CD. You can see good numbers here. All right, and we can see that as we are all on the live stream mix, we're getting a good signal. And then if we take that away because it is post fader, this is anyway, and we're getting a good strong signal here. Now let's go over to OBS. 
on the computer and you can see we're getting a good strong level. Now I'm gonna show you how to up that level a little bit where we're peaking. I did have to add a little gain here on OBS, which is, I put a gain filter on it and maybe I boosted it slightly. Well, actually it's not even activated. It's deselected. So uh, I could add a little in OBS if I wanted to, but we'll take care of that later. Let me show you how, because one of the problems is getting a good strong volume we're going to set an effects rack up so go to this is how you're going to boost that live stream volume effects and then we go to home now what i've done for this particular example is i have inserted a limiter and you can see on the left hand side is the signal before it goes through the limiter and then you can see the boosted signal after the limiter so to be able to do that, we'll just start over. For the, I'll mute that, take it off. And let's go ahead, when you're choosing, you wanna go down uh, first, you want to choose the proper effects rack that's empty. So let's go to five, choose that, which with the limiters in there, but I'm, now you need to go to type and just keep scrolling through, and you can do this on the iPad as well, which is probably easier until you get to the limiter and it says LIM here for limiter and it says here pre precision limiter what a word all right we are going to add this so in order to do that you want to go up you can see I've got buses three and four and the way I've done that is you can change it here all right change the left the one channel and the other one so I'll change it to three and then of course you can deselect it there. All right, let's look at the stream volume with it off. Okay, it's hitting about mm, negative uh, 12. That's pretty good, negative 12 dB. All right, let's insert the limiter. And then we want to go to edit you want to change your, make sure stereo link is engaged. And then I've set the output volume to 12, the output gain at negative one, the squeeze at 20%, knee is at three, attack, let's bring it down and see what happens. Okay. Actually, I can see it, you know, limiting there. So that's something I'll probably have to play with is the release and the attack time by turning maybe those down. I'm not an expert on those. I will link two videos in the description that'll help you further. And then you want to go, all right, we've got that working. And we go back to home. Of course, we've got it inserted in the channel. So insert, this will be added. And what I wanted to show you was, is the input gain and then the output gain, which is, you know, you may know more about this. If you can help all of us by adding some more, I do see it reducing some here. So I think there is something to the attack and release time that could really change this. So I have it going through channels three and four, and you can see the increase. And hopefully that reflects over here, which is still showing it's hitting about negative, uh, still about negative 12 dB, which is good. So, there may be a way, it says output gain. We may play around with that a little bit. Or either input gain into it. Let's just turn it all the way up. Wow, that really is. So let's go back to negative one. Okay, now we're getting some more lines. And over here, probably about Eh, it might be coming up to almost negative 
10 almost. So I'm still learning about the effects racks, but that'll get you where you need to go. I think there's gonna be something about this release, attack and release time. Again, I'm building my mix. You can see I'm getting good strong signals that are in the negative 18 dB, which is great. And notice it's not coming through the house. That's what you want. This is going out USB, printer cable as I call it, over to OBS on the computer. And so I can set a separate mix. I hit select, I hit sends on fader, and you can see I can build my own mix. This right here is live stream mix. So I hope that helps. Let me know if you can help us all in the comments or something you can add or to help one another in this. In the meantime, this is David Toll with Supplemental Seminary. We'll see you in the next video.